Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 90. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how a classic offline table reorganization using temporary table space cannot be stopped. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how a classic offline table reorganization using temporary table space cannot be stopped at all. Now, uh, we can also rephrase the question like what happens if I stop the classic table reorganization forcefully. So by forcefully, I mean like I can use the force application command or I can abruptly kill the client process. So you can use the kill command in Unix based system or you can go to the Windows task manager and kill the DB2 background process from there. So the to answer that question, the solution is actually depends on the phase of the classic reorg operation. So once the reorg operation enters into the replace phase, uh, it will run on the server. It will continue to run on the server. Uh, there is no stopping of that. There is no way to stop that. We have to wait till the reorg completes for good. There is no need for any active client application to be present or the process in the client side. Even if you kill the process in the client side, the replace phase classic reorganization using temporary table space will continue to run on the server. Uh, it's actually having the both positive side and the negative side. The positive side is like uh, the reorg gets complete completed, so there is no table damage. We we cannot we do not want to get into table damage scenario wherein we need to re recreate the table and load the data. So it's it's for good. And also the disadvantage is that you cannot really stop it. So if it takes couple of hours, right, you will just have to wait a couple of hours. There is no other way to stop the reorganization process. Uh, just in case you know if somebody complains like why why did you start this reorg like, why why not later right so we cannot stop this right once it gets into the replace space and it is specifically for reorganization using temporary table space okay so let's as usual get into the examples um, so here I have already started the instance let me activate the database activate db sample okay. and after that I will connect to the sample database okay uh, the table is already created and it has been loaded with some data so I just get the application handle so that I can force the application so the application handle is 16 so yeah that is there okay then rear table table name using temp temporary table space that is the important thing I will not start this operation right now but uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the DB2 uh, processes which are running in the uh, background. Okay, so you can see that there is a DB2 BP process that is running. So this is the client process uh, 3507. Okay, so that is the one. So I'll I'll I can kill that 3507. So I'll try to kill that. Also, I'll also kill the uh, shell process. See, this is the shell process. 2562 okay so this is the one so 2562 i'll also kill the shell process okay so that everything gets killed okay so before doing that first let me run the so right now the rear is not running okay so let me kick off the rear okay so you can see that now the rear is getting into the build phase so we'll we'll stop everything once we get into the replace phase. Okay. So I'll run the force application command. So let it get into the replace phase. Okay. So it's coming now close to the replace phase. Um, it roughly takes about two one to one and a half to two minutes. Let's check. Okay, fifty thousand. I think fifth, once it reaches fifty-five thousand, it should get into. Yeah, now it should get into. Yeah. So the replace phase it has come. So let me just force the application two, three, four, five times. I have done it. Okay. So let's just look at that. Okay, nothing here. Okay. Let me kill the process also. See here. These two things I will kill here now. See no such process. So we have killed the 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 client side process as well. Now look at the uh, rear. It should still be running actually. See, so it's still running in the replace phase. Look at this. 
See, this is what I was telling. So even though my see here, uh, see here, system error, the 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 ID and everything got killed actually here. Yeah, see the shell itself is gone now. So you can see the terminal got closed, and the but still the rear is running. See here. Yeah, now the rear got completed and it was a smooth complete, right? So on the server side, the rear will still continue to run even if the client side, which issued the rear command, the background process, the CLP session or the shell um, program that initiated that SQL, whatever it gets killed on the client side, it doesn't matter. On the server side, the rear will still run and smoothly complete. If it is a classic table reorganization using temporary table space, that is important. Uh, hope this information was useful to you. Please subscribe to my uh, channel on youtube.com db2luw academy and uh, see you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye bye.